So is it a record breaker? I think that way. I think. Would we go on that shore or oh. should we go back? Uh, you can you can come right up here. Yeah, you can you can land right up here. Yeah. Yeah, we want it to go quickly, you know, so that you get a system here because I bet there's a lot more in here than uh, yeah, you know, what you're right. you what you've get, caught so far. Yeah. Get back out. I think you're absolutely right. See that cottonwood tree back there where you can see the stem or the trunk? Michael, see where I'm pointing? Uh -huh. No. There. Oh, there. Yeah. Back in that corner. Oh, I saw it. Those are three. 10 to, maybe that biggest one might be pushing 11 to 12 or, you know, you know, anywhere from 9 to 12 pounds, I would say. 9 to 12 pounds. Yeah. Isn't that something? Now, how long can they stay under? Uh, I with, think they can without stay. Without air. I think a half hour or better. Really? Yep. Or long, well, longer. And I, I've actually, I think if they're, if push comes to shove, I've had a couple of these nets roll into Call deeper in water. Claws. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that, that is awesome. Here's a, here's that I one. had no idea there'd be this many turtles in our oh, pond. That, yeah. that just surprises me. But here's the one again, that the one the one, the one that was up by the shop though, um, three was, times that big. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah these these would be a small babies huh. compared to. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of those claws. <laughs> they're they're definitely all business. So this is the one you got in the other pond. Yep. He was actually in the creek right creek next to the pond. And that came up and went down, fortunately, so that didn't drown. Because, I mean, it was up over the level of the net. So, you know, I think if push comes to shove and they go underwater, they can probably stay underwater for, for quite a while. Quite a while. You know, and so now do the box turtles never smell? get any bigger than that hole you've got in there? Is that... I don't think so. So, wow. So I'd if the so box turtles do get in, though, I think they'd get right back out. Although yeah. now, what would was, these guys do to a box turtle? Would they bother them or not? I, as long as this is underwater, they usually don't. Oh, okay. It's when it's up above you. You asked about multiple ones, right? Last year, down by Denison, we had we had one net that had five snappers, or was it six? No, six. In one net. In one net, uh, we've as uh, 140 pounds of turtle. Oh, oh you know what? He's, he's, he's trying to get out. Oh, oh he's going to get out. Oh, boy. Isn't he? Well, he is just about oh, gets out that he, opening. Oh, okay. That was yep. close. I don't, he must not quite be able to. I've got it on my cell phone, a picture. Do you too? Yeah, i got one right here, too. Okay. He is pissed. I know. <laughs> That's no... Oh, wow! <laughs> that was close! <laughs> Found a little opening there. <laughs> he owns this pond. That's not the way to treat yeah, him. Yeah, really. What's the deal here, buddy? The leatherback turtles are? They're, they're, they're generally not as big. I've caught a few that are like, uh, oh gosh, what is some of the bigger ones? I mean, if you get a 10, 12 pounder, you've got a good that's one. Nice. I think the biggest I've caught was a 16 or so. Oh, Boy, really? that's just a turtle that's on the move there. Yes, he is. He knows right where the water is. He's heading back. Wow! Oh, there, just, it's vicious. You get him on land like that and... <laughs> is that a female? Yeah, we're, we're thinking maybe that might be a male. Yeah. I, I would almost think it's a... Like I would know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? I mean, I separate them out. Usually and stuff. they're easier to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I separate them out and I.